story about a man one day he was walking down the street and he saw this little boy reaching up trying to trying to reach the doorbell to ring the doorbell but he was too short so the man went over and ran over and picked him up so he could ring the bell the little boy looked around he rang it rang it rang it and he put him down and he, the man asked him what you think about that the little boy said I think we better run by like crazy <laughs> So sometimes you not only need to know what somebody's doing, you need to know why they're doing it. Amen. <laughs> what in the world were you thinking about? And now sometimes we do things because we're not thinking. How many know we need to think before we act? We need to think before we speak. Sometimes we say stuff. We don't think before we say it. We just, we just pop it out. And then we sorry about it the rest of our lives. How many know once you say something, you can't take it back? I don't care how many times you say you sorry. It's already been said and it's left a mark. Bam. Right there. And that person will never forget it. A good salesman who's been trained will tell you that people don't buy because of their, 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 their mind thinking. They buy because of their, their heart thinking. So, so a, a good car salesman won't go up to you telling you how many horsepower it's got. And he won't go up to you telling you uh, how long, how many miles you're going to get out of the engine and all that stuff. See, that, that, that deals with your head. He'll tell you what deals with your heart. He'll tell you, you know what? You're going to look good going down the street behind the wheel of that car. Praise Amen. the Lord. And so, so the Bible says that for as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Isn't that, isn't that something he says, as a man thinketh in his brain? He says, as, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So there's something, something about that heart, y'all. Something about that heart. What, what, what you've been thinking with your heart? Yeah, the God knows our thoughts, y'all. He knows our thoughts. One thing the Bible tells us not to constantly think about certain things. It tells us what to think about and it tells us what not to think about. We're going to look at some of those things today. In Matthew 6 and 31 tells about some things we shouldn't constantly be thinking about. And one of them is our earthly welfare. Mm hmm I want to talk about that one because some of us, we spend most of our time thinking about that. About our earthly welfare. Matthew 6.31 says, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal where shall we be clothed? Hey. And then something else we wouldn't think. Oh, now this is going to get you. In Job 31 and 1, it says, I made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? So these are some of the things we shouldn't be thinking. It says, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Uh-oh. Then he starts naming some of the things. First one on there is fornication. Ah, glory. Now that might be too big a word for you, fornication. That simply means having sex when you ain't married. And then it says uncleanness. Everybody know what uncleanness is. That's filthiness. That's when you people that say stuff they shouldn't be saying, using words. I know, I know nobody in here uses cuss words. I know you don't. Cleanness. And then it says inordinate affection. Now, now that, that's another inordinate. That's a word we don't use too much, but inordinate means out of the boundaries. You know, there, there are certain boundaries we should have, y'all. Evil concupiscence. Now, now, concupiscence deals with sexual desire. Wow. So, so, uh, you, so all concupiscence isn't bad. You need to have concupiscence with your husband or wife. Amen. Amen. But this says evil concupiscence. That means when you're looking at my wife <laughs> with sexual desire, on, that's evil concupiscence. And when we get to our, 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 our text scripture, 
In Philippians 4 and 8, finally, brother, and whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. This is what we're supposed to be thinking about, y'all. And you, and you know what I like about it? Every one of those, those words describe Jesus, y'all. And so this is telling me just keep Jesus on your mind. Keep him on your mind.